Trace 5. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? It's CI Air Chris here. And today's video consists of my CDL 2021 Florida Home Series predictions. This is the second weekend of games of stage four of the season. All right, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. And for the first matchup here, we have the Atlanta Phase versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup, I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta Phase. Phase is the best team in the game. They currently have the most CDL points and are first in the standings. Surge, in contrast, have had a pretty rough year. They have not found a rhythm and are currently last in the standings. I do not expect this series to be close, to be honest. Although Surge made a roster change last week, they still ended up losing. This was versus a Thieves team that has been struggling as of late as well. Because of Surge's inability to even take a series against a team such as the Thieves right now, I do not see them coming even close to being able to compete with the best team in the game. And for the next matchup here, we have the Dallas Empire versus the LA Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empire last week was able to take their first series as a new roster. Both teams faced losses though, as LAG lost to New York and Empire lost to Toronto. I expect this series to be very close, to be honest. The last series these two teams had against each other was a map 5-2. I expect a highly contested series to occur with the Empire just barely being able to edge it out. I think LAG's practice time as a roster will help them take some maps, but Empire's talent will help them just barely prevail here. And for the next matchup here, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves have struggled a bit recently. They reverted back to an old roster and barely were able to edge out Surge last week 3-2. Paris has also been struggling recently though. They will be coming into the series after losing to Optic and losing versus Minnesota the week prior. I believe although the Thieves have been inconsistent, they have a really good roster. They were on an upwards trend before subbing out Tiege and I think they still are. They did not get or look any worse with him after bringing him back than they did before. I expect them to continue to make improvements from here and to continue to grow. Because of this, I will have to call this series 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. And for the next matchup here, we have the New York Subliners versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I'll be calling 3-2 in favor of NYSL. Florida has looked really good this stage. They beat Toronto last week and are currently 2-0 during it. NYSL has also looked rather solid recently. They won their match last week and their performance during stage 3 was phenomenal. They went undefeated during every home series, won the winner's finals at the major, and appeared in the major finals before facing their first loss of the stage to phase. I expect this series to be very close, to be honest. Florida looks on fire this stage and I think they might be out for blood. I think they look like they could win a major right now, to be honest. NYSL has also looked really good though and did not win the last major. Because of this, I expect them to still be very motivated. I honestly expect this to be a highly contested series consisting of some very close maps, but for subliners to barely edge it out. Clay is going to lead the troop to victory like always, and Hydra will be the wild card X Factor. And for the next matchup here, we have the Toronto Ultra versus the London Royal Ravens. This matchup I'll be calling 3 0 in favor of the Toronto Ultra. Ultra went 1 1 last week. In their most recent series, however, they did not drop any maps and that was versus Dallas. London last week went 0-2, facing losses to both Empire and Florida. Because of Ultra's poor showing versus Florida, I expect them to dominate versus London here. I think they are really upset by their performance in that matchup and that this is why they didn't drop a map to Dallas either. I expect this fire to carry with them the remainder of the stage and for it to definitely help them here. I still think the Ultra are a better team than Florida, so I feel they should have no problem 3 0 London as well. And for the next matchup here, we have Optic Chicago versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of Optic Chicago. Optic beat Rocker last week. They began the week with the hot 3-0 over Minnesota. Harris, in contrast, lost to Minnesota 3-1 last week. Although Optic beat the Rocker last week, most recently they faced a 3-0 loss to FaZe. I think this L will motivate them and light a fire in them, and I expect it to help prevail them to victory in this series. I do not see Optic losing to a team that lost to a team they already 3-0'd this stage after most recently facing a loss to FaZe. And for the next matchup here, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Seattle Surge. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Surge will be coming into this matchup after most recently facing a loss to FaZe. This will also be their second loss in a row. Because of this, their team morale will be down. Rocker, on the other hand, will be coming into this matchup on a W. This will put them on a high note coming into this series. Honestly, I just think Minnesota displays more talent. I feel like this is something that has been costing me a lot all season, trying to give the Rocker credit, but I have to. I think they are the better team, and I expect them to prevail in this series. Attach is nasty, and Standy is goaded. And for the next matchup here, we have the Florida Mutineers versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. Both of these teams will be coming into this series after after facing a loss. Florida's will be to NYSL and LAG's will be to Empire. They will both have been map 5's as well. I do however think that NYSL is a much better team than Empire. This means that to me, taking them 5 maps means a lot more than taking Empire 5 maps. NYSL was in a winner's final and a major final last stage. Empire wasn't. NYSL will also still have been undefeated during this stage upon beating Florida. I do think LAG has enough talent to take one map on Florida though, on the basis of them making mistakes. And for the next matchup here, we have Atlanta Phase versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I will unfortunately have to 
the call 3-0 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe will be coming into this matchup undefeated on the stage. They are also currently first in the standings and one major three. The Thieves will also be coming into this matchup undefeated during this stage, but they will have beaten much easier opponents in my opinion. They will have beaten Seattle and Pairs, which in my opinion are two teams they should never lose to, to be honest. They also beat Seattle in five maps, which quite frankly just isn't good. Unfortunately, I do not expect this series to be that close, to be honest. Phases look too disgusting all year and the Thieves have just been inconsistent. I do not think they will be prepared for this matchup and expect Atlanta to have no problem securing the victory. And for the last matchup of the weekend here, we have the New York Subliners versus the Dallas Empire. This matchup I'll be calling 3-0 in favor of NYSL. Both of these teams will be coming into this matchup on a win. Empires will be to LAG and NYSLs will be to Florida. They will both have been map 5s as well. Much like how I thought NYSL was better than Empire, I think Florida is better than LAG. Because of this, I think NYSL's victory is more significant and means more. Historically speaking this season, Dallas has had New York's number. They have beat them 3 times. I do not expect this series to be close to be honest. I think as of late, NYSL has looked much better than Dallas and Clay will have them all super fired up. The maps may be close, but I think Clay will be too hungry for revenge in this series to drop any. And now for my updated power rankings. In 12th, the Seattle Surge. In 11th, the Paris Legion. In 10th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. In 9th, the London Royal Ravens. In 8th, the Minnesota Rocker. In 7th, the LA Thieves. In 6th, the Dallas Empire. In 5th, Optic Chicago. In 4th, the Florida Mutineers. In 3rd, the Toronto Ultra. In 2nd, the New York Subliners. And in 1st, Atlanta Fays. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for today's video. As always, let me know what your thoughts are down below and leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm super excited for this weekend of games and can't wait to see how they all play out. And as always, of course, I hope the Thieves win. Alright, but until next time everyone, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.